Hey guys and welcome, welcome, welcome to this special ASMR um, stretching yoga session. So what we're going to be doing is doing a pre-run, pre-walk, pre-workout stretch, okay? So this is going to be a stretching yoga session for before you even start your day or before you do any sort of physical activity in order to um, just make sure our body is like warmed up and so that like we can prevent any potential injury okay so yeah so that's the intention of this little stretching yoga session okay so let's get started <laughs> so first a very important stretch that i want to start off with is okay so what we're gonna do is you're going to put your hands on the wall like this and you're going to take one foot back like this and take it back as far as is comfortable for you i like to take it back a little further and you're gonna rest that back heel on the floor like this and what we're doing is stretching our calf muscle and in order to deepen it you may um kind of um, shift your hips forward to like tuck your hips in like this and you'll feel it stronger when you do that when you do this you can't really feel it but when you do that you can really feel the stretch and um, I kind of like to do little soft gentle bounces like this just kind of feeling it out and, um, you know, playing around, you know, moving my body in ways that, you know, to see if I can get a deeper stretch in the calf muscle. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch sides. So, take your other leg, put it in front, and touch that heel to the floor. Um, shift your hips forward like this and feel that stretch in your calf okay so we're just stretching and just like breathe into the stretch as well and another stretch we can do to stretch our calves is um, hopefully you can see me putting your foot on the door like this, like your toes on the door like this. <laughs> Sorry for the squeaking. And um, I'm just kind of um, leaning forward into that and you can feel that stretch in your calf as well. go ahead and switch feet you can uh, put your the top of your foot on the door or I mean on the wall and you're gonna lean into that lean. and you can feel that stretch in your calf sorry if you can hear my neighbors they're they're up to something they're doing something out there so hopefully it's not too much of a distraction <laughs> okay so the next stretch we're gonna do we're going to take um, our leg grab our, f our ankle or our foot and we're going to um, take it to our butt cheek like this 
So we're just kind of pressing our foot against our butt cheek and what deepens the stretch is if you uh, take your hips, thrust them forward like this. If you're doing like that, then you don't really feel it as much, but if you tuck your hips in like this, you can really feel it. Okay, so let's switch sides now. So take your other leg, your other foot, grab it, and press it towards your butt, and tuck those hips in. Okay. Keep your balance. You can lean against a wall if you need to. Next, um, something I like to do is do like a forward fold <laughs> and um, just to stretch our back to get a full body stretch in. So let's go ahead and do that. So just fold forward, like so, just getting into this, just easing into this, maybe wiggling side to side, and breathing. And uh, you have the option here to hang in ragdoll. So go ahead and, cl and um, grab your elbows and put them behind your head and just hang here in ragdoll. Just kind of swaying side to side like this. Breathing. Shake your head. Nod your head. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to lift our right... We're going to bend our left leg. Lift our right arm up to the sky, to the ceiling. And feel that stretch. That nice little twist. And we're gonna switch legs or switch sides. <laughs> My kitten is playing with them. Um, they're playing with a q tip for some reason. Okay. So switch sides. Take bend your right leg, take your left arm to the ceiling, and look up at your left arm. That was my neck. Okay, now let's do a little standing um, split to just stretch our hamstrings and our hips and stuff. So we're gonna lift our right leg up like this as, as high as you can. Make sure, oops, oh, make sure your hips are square. And um, doesn't matter how high you can lift your leg up, it's just about just lifting it and feeling that stretch in your, um, in your leg that's on the ground. And breathing into it. You can bend that leg that's lifted just to see how that feels. <laughs> um, but okay, you can put that down and we're gonna switch to the other side. So standing split on the other leg, lift that other leg up. <sighs> Breathe into that base leg that's being stretched right now.
This feels really good. <laughs> Okay, so come back down, and um, we're gonna st we're gonna stay in this fold and just spread your feet apart a little bit, so you're kind of straddling a little bit, and you're gonna take your arms, you're gonna take your arms and put them behind you, clasp your hands together, and straighten your arms. Open your chest, um, bring your shoulder blades close together, and just kind of hang in this and really extend, I guess, really um, fold in this position and relax yourself down into this position with your arms behind you, but also keeping that chest open. I like to kind of go side to side in this position. And um, go ahead and lift your body halfway like this. And just feel that nice sensation and come back down. Down into this fold. I like to like move my head like this. While I'm in this position because it just feels good on my neck. <sighs> and something else I like to do, I like to come up and just kind of make some kind of like little circle. <laughs> I like to draw a circle with my hands behind my back like this. <sighs> just playing around in this position. Okay, so now we're going to come down into um, a little yogi squat. Okay, so come down into a little yogi squat. So like this, elbows um, pushing your knees um, apart. Your chest is open. Sorry, my neighbors are doing something out there. Um, and your hands are in prayer position and we're just breathing here. Maybe lean from side to side, feel that stretch. Right now we're stretching our hips. This usually helps me stretch my hips before I go on a walk. I usually go on walks um, because walks are really good for me and my my mental health. Like whenever I go on a walk, I just there's something about the fresh air and getting out of the house that really helps me get into a better mood. So yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, you're gonna straighten one leg out to the side. Like this. And we're essentially, oop, that was my hip, sorry. Um, we're stretching our hip right here, basically. So, feeling that stretch in our hip. Breathing into this. And now we're going to shift our weight over to the other leg. Oh, <laughs> like this. <laughs> so, yeah, like that. Ooh, that feels really good on my hip, guys. So, just feeling that stretch right here. Let's get out of that. So for our next position. All right, so 
Our next position is gonna be a standing lunge. This really helps me stretch my hip flexor before I go on a walk, especially if I don't wanna really do um, a lunge on the ground because I don't really like, you know, putting my knee on like the hard floor, you know? I need like a yoga mat and yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. okay so what you're gonna do is you're going to take Let's start with our right leg forward and put your left leg back like this. And just like as much as you feel comfortable doing. And you're going to make sure your hips are forward, that you're rotating your hips forward like this. And you'll feel a stretch in that left hip flexor. So what I like to do is reach my arms up to kind of intensify that stretch. <sighs> Breathe. And something else I like to do is clasp my hands behind me, open my heart. <sighs> and um, another thing I always like to do is twist my body to the right like this, arms are to my sides, like this, and feeling that nice twist, maybe even lowering that right hand to my the back of my knee, reaching over behind me with my left arm like this, there's something about that, it's a nice, nice stretch, okay, so, let's move on to our next leg, our, our other leg, so left leg in front, right leg in back of you. So you're going to rotate your hips forward in order to feel that stretch in your right hip, okay? You're going to bring your arms up to really deepen this stretch. And, um, you're going to take your arms like this, right arm in front, left arm in back, twist your body to the left. Feel that nice twist. Bring your left hand to your back of your right knee and bring that right arm up, stretch it backwards. Okay, and you can also clasp your arms behind you like this. Open your chest up. Okay, so yeah, so that's that. Let's come back up. So for the last thing, um, the last stretch I want to do is just kind of rolling our head around because before I go on walks, like I just feel like I need my neck and shoulders to be a little loosened, you know. Um, otherwise, it'll be tense and it'll just be kind of hard to enjoy the walk. So let's start by um, taking our head and leaning it forward, looking down like this. Keep your shoulders back and we're just looking down breathing into the back of our necks you may clasp your hands behind your back like this just to keep your shoulders back and just feeling that stretch you can kind of turn your head side to side to feel the variations of this stretch but be gentle. Make sure to breathe. Okay, so now we're gonna roll our head in circles. Okay, so now we're gonna roll our head. We're gonna rotate it in circles. So let's let's um, bring it to our right side like this. Feeling that stretch in the left side of our neck.
Okay, now bring it back, looking up, keeping your shoulders down. Then bringing your head to the left side, feeling that stretch in your right side of your neck. And let's bring it back down, forward, in front of us, like this. Okay. Okay, now we are simply just going to move our head from side to side like this. So we're just going to turn our head to the left. Breathing in there. And then turn it to the right. Breathing in, and we're turning it as much as we can and feeling that stretch or not a stretch, but it's kind of like an exercise like we're strengthening our neck so just move it side to side turning it to the left then turning it to the right okay now Something I like to do before I go on a walk is set an intention. <sighs> Sorry, my cats are playing, so hopefully that's okay. You guys can probably hear the cats rummaging around things. So, um, yeah, something I like to do is set my intention and just kind of like pray you know, to who I believe in, and, you know, if you don't believe in anybody, that's fine, but honestly, I strongly suggest that you do, <laughs> but, um, so, let's say some affirmations, like, I am safe on my walk, or run, or workout, <laughs> um, I will have a good workout, a rewarding workout. I will have a fulfilling workout. <clears throat> my workout went completely in my favor or better for my highest good. I feel refreshed. I feel happy. I feel rejuvenated. Okay, so Yes, those are the little affirmations or intentions. So yeah, guys, I really hope you liked this little session. Let me know what you think. I hope this was effective at warming up and stretching your body before work.